Hello friends, I just felt like vlogging today so I'm picking up the camera in the middle of the day. It's one o'clock and I'm just gonna start vlogging. I don't know why, I just felt the strong urge to so I'm just gonna take you guys with me and I'll kind of fill you in on what you guys have missed so far today. As you can probably hear in the background, I've got some laundry going and I just ate lunch. A little life update. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would already know this, but I started doing paleo. Um, also, I've mentioned this on Instagram, but I have ulcerative colitis and I just have a lot of stomach issues that come with that. So I went to an all natural doctor and he gave me a bunch of different vitamins and things and wanted me to start eating paleo which i've been doing now for i think this is my third week and i'm really loving it i've found that the best way for me to stay strong on it is to meal prep so like last night i went to the store and i meal prepped a bunch of veggies i just have zucchini yellow squash broccoli chop up some onion got my chopped up romaine and then that's usually what i'll have for lunch i'll just throw like a veggie salad together with either chicken or ground beef and then i've been using this paleo sauce it's um by primal kitchen it is so stinking good even if you aren't paleo or anything i highly recommend this sauce it's very very good so now i'm just gonna clean up from lunch and um i went to tj maxx this weekend and i got a bunch of clear containers um to kind of organize my fridge a little bit since i've been doing paleo i've been buying tons more vegetables and fruit than normal so my fridge has just been like an explosion lately and not organized at all so i definitely want to organize it a little bit and yeah i figured i would just take you along and then in this video too i really want to show you i've gotten some new decor pieces and around my house and i have thrifted some decor that i haven't shown you yet and i thrifted a really really cool wicker furniture piece for 25 bucks so i'll definitely show you guys that i'll have to take you to the shop because it's out there um but yeah it's just gonna be like a decor update um thrift haul normal day in my life also i've been what I've been doing today, I did some listings and I packaged up my shipping. One sad sale, one sad measly little sale, but I'm so thankful for it. Um, I shared my Poshmark closet. I've just been doing, I was doing some stuff at the shop. I've just been like doing some random stuff here and there. Mondays are always like planning out my week scheduling everything deciding what i'm gonna do and then obviously doing shipping and catching up and stuff like that um so yeah that's kind of what i have been doing before this video okay first things first i got this little container at tj maxx i'm going to add some water to it some filtered water i have been trying to learn how to um keep produce longer in the fridge because i feel like I put it in there and I just want to get the max life out of it. I'm eating a lot of fruit and vegetables right now. So I really want to make sure I'm not wasting the money and it's going bad. Obviously, I'm eating it. But yeah, so I'm just going to cut up my carrots. Probably I need to just see how to cut them. Like if I cut them in half. If I split them i don't know i've never really stored carrots this way so we'll see how that goes but i think i'm just gonna do that i read that you're supposed to keep them in water makes them last longer so we'll see but yeah i'm just going to do that and i will show you after and then this is one of the things that i thrifted this is a really cute little honey jar. I love it so much. And I'm just going to put some honey in that. And yeah, just kind of get prepared for my week with all of my groceries. I want my 
fridge looking good and I'll take you along for that. I don't know why this stuff makes me so happy, but it looks so cute. And I'll just leave this out on my shelf for easy access. And here are the carrots. I should have gotten two of these. I don't know why I was thinking, but um, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna buy another one of these for my celery. Okay, don't judge me. I literally just went grocery shopping and I've got so much like meat and produce in here. So this is a little before. The next fridge I get will definitely be the one where the fridge is up top because it's so annoying bending over all the time. That's kind of a dumb thing to complain about, but yes. And I'm gonna try to organize this a little bit. And obviously it's like messier too because I've got a lot of like pre-cooked food, like food prepping. So I just need to organize it and put those bins in and I will show you the after. Okay, that is done. It's not like the most Pinteresty fridge that I wanted. I want it, you know, those like Pinterest fridge fridges that have like everything in clear plastic containers and they just look really aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I just couldn't do that. Just not realistic, but it does look a heck of a lot better. And I got rid of a bunch of stuff that was expired and everything. So here it is. Okay, how I did it, um, I put fruit in this side, some veggies and herbs in this side. I tried to put all of our like drinks here and then green onions. I guess you're supposed to store them in water. I'm learning these things. Just some extra um, vegetables that didn't fit in here. Water, eggs, meat, 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 pre-cooked, ready to go stuff. This is all like Cam's kind of stuff, like cheese and wraps and stuff that I can't eat right now. Um, and then over here, we've got more cheese, uh, aloe that I've been drinking every day, which is pretty nasty, but really good for you, so I'm doing it. Avocado, those carrots I cut up. I got this, this is another home decor piece I just got. Um, it's just this really cute ceramic, very aesthetically pleasing little berry, container I don't know so I just put all my berries in there and I got this at TJ Maxx as well it's just got um, a little container in it so if any water drips out it'll be down here and it won't make your grapes all soggy so that's nice that's better than just the regular bag and then I've got some guacamole ready to go and then some cilantro which is again in water just like the green onions because I guess they last longer that way and they have been lasting a lot longer. And then I just have all of our sauces. I got rid of some which was really nice. Another thing that I desperately need to do is clean out our pantry. It is just an absolute disaster. It's because I was eating one way i told you guys i was like counting my macros to try to lose weight that way and i loved it it was great but then i went to see this health doctor and he wanted me on paleo so i kind of had to switch up like everything that i was eating so i didn't want to just throw away all of my old stuff because cam isn't eating that way and he might still eat it so right now we just have a ton of stuff some of it i just need to go through which I don't really have the energy to do the pantry right now since I just did the whole fridge, but maybe next time I do that, I will film it because I always like watching this stuff, so I figured you guys would too. While I'm in the kitchen though, I want to show you um, another new um, piece of decor that I thrifted that I think is so stinking cute. I don't know why I love it so much, but I got this adorable little trivet. I love the color of it, this like terracotta color, and um, it's just nice to have trivets around. But I just leave it right here next to all of our like essentials, and I just think it's so cute. It's adorable, and I just love that it says bless this kitchen. I was cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. I saw my package that I need to take, and I just wanted to talk about this and be really transparent and honest. You guys see me all the time talking about reselling and on my Instagram showing you guys things that have sold and showing you me taking all of these packages to the post office. 
and I know because I felt this way when I first started out I know that it's easy to see that stuff and if you're a reseller and compare yourself like oh wow I only have one package to ship I wish I had all of those but don't compare yourself because for the past two weeks my sales have just been horrible and i don't know why i haven't done anything different and i don't know if it's just because we're going into summer and people are spending their money elsewhere i don't know what it is but i wanted to be honest and just say my sales haven't been great and i only have one package from the weekend which kind of stinks but that is reselling and that is the unpredictability of it but what i've learned through the years is i have to keep going i have to keep doing what i'm doing listing sharing my closet all of that stuff and it will pick back up i just have to be patient and it's just a friendly reminder that sales aren't always crazy good for me and speaking of that i've been using this isn't sponsored but i've been using um this website called vendu to cross list my stuff and i will have it linked down below i think if you sign up through my link i get something back for that again it's it's not sponsored but i think i get something back for that just to be transparent about it but i highly highly recommend i've been using it for a couple weeks now and basically all you do is just upload everything to vendu and from there, once you upload it and put in your description and all of that size, all of that stuff, you can cross list to whatever platform you sell on. There's eBay, Poshmark, Depop, Etsy, Mercari's on there. I think Facebook's even on there now. Um, and then it's super easy. So what I've been doing is photographing and measuring and all of that, all of my stuff. And then I'll just upload those pictures to my computer, upload all of the drafts to Vendu, and then, um, I will go on there each day and list a couple from there and it is literally cut my listing time like in half it is crazy I highly recommend I can't remember how much the prices are because there's different options like if you only want to list 50 items on there a week it's or a month it's X amount and so you can look on there but highly highly recommend it has been so great for me for cross listing okay please look at this plant she needs some water right now she's a little droopy but this plant has grown like crazy like all of this is new growth all of this is new growth all of this is new growth it is amazing and this guy has grown a lot too i've noticed it's starting to like as you can see lean out because it can't go up because of the shelf so i may move that just so it's not um crooked like that i don't know doesn't really bother me and it really likes this spot um and that one's droopy too because today's watering day which i will show you guys how i do but yeah i had to give you an update because these babies are doing good i'm now in my guest room which i film in a lot but you guys don't normally get this angle i wanted to do like a very very mini thrift haul because um i haven't gotten that much Lately, I've been shopping, but sadly, there's just not been that much at the thrift stores. So, this is just a mini haul. And I already showed you guys that trivet and the honey jar. And I'm going to show you that furniture piece as well um, later on today. Um, but I figured I would just show you the couple things that I did get. I got both of these. They were $1.49 each. Um, you guys know I love picking up brass candlesticks. If you guys don't pick up brass candlesticks at your stores do it they sell so well i've never ever ever had a problem selling them and at our shop we actually sold out so i needed to restock and then i thought these were cool i got these both for 50 cents um it's just this set of brass like ladles you guys will have to let me know down below what you think i should do um i washed them but as you can see they've got wear on them most of the time with my brass candlesticks i don't polish them or clean them but with these ones i feel like i should i don't know some people really like the look of aged brass so i try not to but this one it just almost seems like it's dirty and it's not it's just aged brass um so let me know down below what you think i should do if i should polish these or not but i picked them up because i think it'd be super cute in a kitchen if 
if you have one of those like bars across your backsplash um, or even on the wall because these have like the perfect hook to hook these on and I'm sure somebody wouldn't really use these as much um, practically like in the kitchen just because they they're older and they're brass and I don't know I think I'd be weirded out using them but I think that they would just be really really cute on display in a kitchen moving right along with more home decor I got this and that little berry basket I showed you in my fridge at a local boutique in my town I'll put their website down below because I think they put a lot of stuff online and they've got really really cute stuff but I got these palms um, they are real they're just dried palms and if you live in Florida or something you could totally pick these and just trim them because that's all that they did it was super cheap so I picked them up I got six for ten dollars I think but I got those and then I'll show you where I put the other ones Excuse this, I've got a giant floral arrangement here, but I put the other ones right here just in my on my dining room table. My cats are destroying these flowers. Um, I just put them on my dining room table. They look really cute with my candlesticks here. And I just put some paper down below since these quite weren't quite tall enough and um, it made them like the perfect height. You guys get a double whammy because my dryer's going and the cat water fountain's going. I feel like I'm, <laughs> this is so funny to me. I'm just like giving you a tour of my house and all of the new stuff. But I know you guys love this stuff, so I just wanted to show you. I got a new plant. It's just a snake leaf plant, but I just think it looks really cute in this spot, so I wanted to show you that. It is so adorable. I just love how it's taller and fills out like this white space a little bit more. Um, and it's already growing new leaves, which is awesome. And the nursery I bought it from, it's in like a regular pot, but then it came with this, which is just plastic. But I think it's perfect because it looks like, um, terracotta. I also got this beautiful Monstera. It's sticking out right now. I've just been waiting for it to get warmer out so I can go outside and plant it in this. Um, but she is cute. This is a newer leaf and then there's a new leaf right here and i think that's all the new leaves but it is so adorable it doesn't have a lot of splits in the leaves yet but this is what the younger monsteras look like anyways and as it'll grow it'll get more leaves kind of like this one again please ignore the droopiness i'm watering today um but this one, as the new leaves come out, has been getting holes in them. And here's a new leaf right here. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. And if you didn't know, with Monsteras, the more sun that they get, the more holes in their leaves they're supposed to get. So I try to keep my Monsteras right here by our window. This new piece that I got is this giant like handmade palm. It's just sticking in this. This is not where it's staying. I put it up here because I didn't want my cats to get into it, but I am going to hang it on the wall and I will show you. I thought about hanging it right here. That would look really good. I thought about ignore all the trash from cleaning out the fridge. I thought about hanging it right here, which would also look really good, but I think I've decided to put it right here. These are the steps to my basement. I think I've decided to put it right here just because this area is not my favorite. Like I redid the steps, but it's just an unfinished basement down there. So it's not the prettiest to look at when you come in and like this switch isn't that great. So I think something right there would just be really pretty. So I need to hang that, but I think that would look really good there. Okay. I'm going to water my plants now. Um, this is my old watering can. I'm officially going to throw her away. I love it, but it's starting to get rusty inside and I feel like that's going to negatively affect the plants. So I just bought this one. Pretty cute, pretty neutral. I think I got it at Lowe's for like five bucks. And then, um, since it's spring now, I have been fertilizing my plants when I water. I just use this um, miracle Grow indoor plant food. I got mine at Lowe's. And I don't do this every time I water. I do it like every other time. And I've definitely noticed a big change. So I just will like squirt two squirts in there. And then the key is using filtered water. Um, 
we personally have kind of hard water so i don't really want that getting in the plants so i always try to use filtered water and i'll just go around feel the soil see if it's dry if it's dry i'll water if it's a little wet i'll just leave it be for another week and then test it then i got this water pitcher on amazon and i love it i think it tastes so good like the water tastes so good and i just had a brita before and this is 10 times better and plus it helps that it's really cute it's got like this faux wood handle that's just white and simple and water fills up super fast i will link it down below in my amazon storefront um you guys should check that out because i link like all of my favorite home products there and stuff and um yeah you'll be able to find this there Okay, done with that. I'm gonna take out the trash and then I've gotta run to the post office and then I've gotta go into my office in town. I have an office um, for uh, working for my father-in-law as his assistant. So I've gotta go there and do some stuff for him. And then I've got volleyball tonight. I'm in a volleyball league that's really fun every Monday night. I love it. So yeah, I'll probably just chill out, um, do some more computer work and that type of thing. And then maybe some more laundry, maybe vacuum. Today was kind of like a lighter work day for me, which was nice because it's always good to start off your week, you know, with everything clean and prepped and ready. Like I did the dishes and everything's clean. We had a really busy weekend. I usually do that stuff on the weekend. So it was nice to have a little break today. Hey guys, I'm in the shop and I'm going to show you the piece. I'm so excited to show you. I got it. Don't forget. I got it for 25 bucks. So it was a deal. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but I got this amazing wicker room divider. It is so pretty. I've actually never seen one like this. So I was excited to find it. I got that for 25 bucks and then I got this amazing lamp the other day. It's brass and well not real brass but that brassy look and I just loved this shape. I think it looks super modern. Cute little floor lamp. I was really debating on keeping it and I might still keep it. I don't know but it was only 10 bucks so I couldn't really pass it up and I think that these look so cute in the shop here. I never really showed you, and I don't know if you remember, but we already started putting out a bunch of new baskets, um, but this was like basically empty after the shop, and there was stuff all over along the outside. There was a table here with a ton of brass candlesticks. We sold all of that. We still have a couple of these, but I think two of them sold, and then we had a bunch of mirrors here that all sold. We had more baskets up there that sold. We had tons more baskets on here. We've kind of just put everything up so it looks filled in, but everything's really bare. Um, this is empty now. We had another table here, so this was bare, but Emily just got this awesome wicker table. And I just put some prints up, but we're working on bringing in stuff. Emily brought this box of stuff to put out and then this is some of our new stuff too to put out we are going to be taking all of these out so we'll have that shelf to fill in and then um yeah and we're gonna kind of play around with everything and kind of replace like we just have a lot of random stuff missing like there was stuff up there um and we're going to some of this is new stuff that we've added in but we're going to just continue to add more hi guys so it's been a couple days since i showed you around in the shop and i wanted to fill you in on what's happened i went thrifting two days ago and i didn't take you guys with me because i just kind of wanted a day to myself to not worry about filming i did film on my phone a little bit for some instagram reels and stuff so you guys can follow me on instagram to see those but i went to three stores a goodwill a smaller like mom and pop 
thrift store and an antique store which I've never really gone into an antique store well I have but I usually choose not to just because I feel like they're more expensive um, but this one was amazing it was three stories and it just had so much I know you guys would have been in heaven with me but I literally spent like at least an hour there just looking at everything and I did end up buying a couple of things because their prices were really good um so yeah if you don't maybe you guys all already know about antique stores and you shop them but I was just always under the impression that they were way too expensive so it was cool to learn that and I'll probably be hitting up some more antique stores in the future but I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of all the stuff that I got. I'm going to film a whole haul because I have accumulated a lot of stuff lately. And I just want to do the whole haul so I can be really thorough. But I'll show you a quick sneak peek. <laughs> Please ignore the mess. But this is kind of where I just keep it all until I can film. So there is lots of goodies, lots of baskets. And that's all I'm showing you. And now I want to talk about today's video sponsor. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I'm obsessed with Skillshare. I've worked with them on several, several videos now. They are amazing. It is an online learning community for creative, lifelong learners. So I think you guys would really enjoy it. And it is curated specifically for learning, meaning no ads. So you can take all of these amazing classes without annoying ads which I know that we all love. The class that I think that you guys would love that I most recently took is um, a DIY class. I'll put the full title right here, but it is all about learning how to make a macrame hanger, which I've always wanted to do. You guys know I love boho decor, um, and I've always wanted to learn to make them myself. I've been trying to get into a little bit more of DIY, and the class is by, I might butcher the name, but I think it's Ayuk and Judo. Again, I will put it down below just so you you guys can take that specific class if you want to but it was amazing um, you learn a bunch of different knots which could help you to make more macrames and it was just really informative and I felt like it went really slow and it kind of like paused the video so you could catch up so you really could do it right then and there and you needed minimal supplies which I really liked it just needed rope and scissors and tape and a little hook and I was good to go I have so many DIY classes and I know that you guys love that type of stuff too so I think that you would really enjoy it the next class that I'm really looking forward to taking is full steps to optimize your space at home by Aaron Boyle um, I'll put that on the screen as well I'm really excited to take this one because um, we live in our house and it's not very big it's great for the two of us but I'm always looking to optimize my space so I'm looking forward to checking that one out as well and as always if you want to try Skillshare now is the perfect time you can click the link in my bio the first a thousand people to click that link get a free premium membership trial so it's definitely worth it and a good time to start and that is it for today's video. Please let me know down below if you liked this vlog style. I hope I got lots of good content for you guys. I'm trying to bring you into my life a little bit more, as I've said before, just because I really want to get to know you all and for you guys to know me. So when I can interact with you guys in the comments or through Instagram, I just love it. I feel like I have a personal relationship with all of you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have have a great week. Bye guys!